150 summoners, hundreds of group stage matches, 45 single elimination matches. Two champions arose from those tournaments, all pointing to this moment. 14 summoners fight for the right to be called the VBCs, one above all. Welcome to Vegas Battle World. Here we go. There's not much more to say than the intro did, except this is it. This is the finals. Four tournaments. This final one, you had to qualify for it. 16 summoners. Two are left. Fintech, McLinks. The best of the best. Let's get this started. I think they're both probably waiting. You can see McLinks there on the right-hand side of the screen. We've got the tournament bracket up for you. You see the names that are on there. Andrew the Rough, Happy McMuffins. Tom Jarvis, Legacy, and that doesn't even include the Deadlands bracket with Bitter Steel, Karate Mike, players of that nature. Ah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm pumped up to watch this. We're going to do a best of seven just to set the table for everyone so everyone understands this is a double elimination tournament. I'm really glad we did that. The competitors asked for it, so we went with it for this one. That, that means here, though, is that McLinks will need to win twice. He will need to win two best of sevens in a row. If he wins his first one, I believe we'll take like about a 10 minute break and we'll come right back and finish this off as the season ends tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I might have a couple co-hosts joining and coming and going. It's the, you know, it's the middle of the day for most of us. K-Dog, Ryan, Claudio, Marcus, Bittersteel himself. What's up, Wonder Pants, Water, Jason Russian, Jason Jabari. What's up, Jay Will? Team MCL, crazy cat player. I love when everyone goes ahead and cheers for their competitor. We've put the poll up there, and you can see this is one of the closer ones we've had. People are, right now, we have Finn at 53%. The poll, uh, poll is actually changing as I look at it right now. MCL continues to close the gap. It is a very, very small plus minus. This is basically a coin flip as far as the crowd is concerned. I think you've probably seen them all. You've caught Lynx's streams, Marcelo's streams, Fintech in the various tournaments. Make sure you support everyone, right? We've got all the competitors linked in the description. We've got Fintech, we've got McLinks. Of course, Misty K, who did all the design work. White Mummy, who did the phenomenal intro. I love that intro. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of the stream is the beginning. Make sure you go support them and, and pick who you want to listen to. You know, you don't got to listen to me. You can go and listen to McLinks. You can go listen to FinTech. Support everyone, though, please. And I appreciate you all doing it. Uh, Bitter Steel, cheer. I am cheering for, I. you know what? I am too. As the host, I hope we're going 14 today. I hope we're going 14. McLinks and Lags going nine was a lot. That was a lot. It was phenomenal. I enjoyed watching it. Why not add five more and get to the 14? I love all the McLinks support we got going out there. <laughs> McLinks is saying, I'm supporting the full full 14 himself. I love it. I love it. I love it. My whole my old heart can't take P dubs. If we go a full 14, my friend, there's gonna be I, I may actually get quiet at times. It's, it's not something I typically do on my streams, but it could actually happen. Um yes, so Agent, I know a lot of people are are joining as we're talking here. Uh McLinks has got he's got a, a long road ahead of him here. Now he, you know, we had the match with Legacy. Legacy advanced. McLinks goes into the Deadlands bracket, was what we were calling the consolation bracket, then had to traverse that whole thing. Let's bring that up real quick so everyone can see the road that this man has been through. Right? Uh going up against Bitter Steel, then Andrew the Rough, then Legacy again. This is a tough, tough trail to get back up into the Conqueror's bracket. Now needs to beat Finn twice. But you know what? It's not the way you can look at it. And I don't think that's the way Marcelo is looking at it. It's going to take him one at a time, one at a time. If he wins his first round, then he and Finn are on even footing. You're going into a second round. Uh, if this goes a full 14, there will be plenty to talk about. <laughs> that is true. That is correct. I just hope one of my co-hosts shows up. <laughs> What's up? Nick136, Ray. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you all are excited for this. we got the championship. This is our fourth and final tournament of the season. There will be a season two. I've already talked to quite a few of the competitors. We've been uh, figuring that out. Probably going to take next season off uh, with so many of them competing to try to get into the uh, Battle Realm Brawl. The Battle Realm Brawl. 
of kabams. I do think that's cool. I think Mike's putting together something pretty cool there. So I'm excited for that. I'm still trying to talk him into doing more than a best of three or best of five or whatever, but I get it. They have time constraints and things like that. Manuel, who's going to co-host? Lags and Pito said they would be down to slide in. Yeah, that, that's essentially it. I think we're waiting for Lags to wake up and uh, PWF has like a job or something. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but I think if that light, uh, lets up for him, he'll be joining. So we'll see. We'll see how this works out. What's up, AFO? Jorge? Alessandro? Joey, what's up, dude? And I think our competitors will be getting started and they both have been given the uh, the green light. My, for whatever reason, um, my... Uh, FinTech stream appears to like continuously delay me a little bit. And we know that McLinks will be a little bit ahead, but I don't think that's that big a deal. I enjoy kind of watching it. It allows me to kind of focus on both screens at different parts of the time. Uh, Nick, yeah, we can get you in there one day. That'd be cool. That would be fun. So thanks for offering. Uh, Lags wake up. I thought Lags had moved back to a, a more normal sleep schedule, but I guess he has fallen back on old habits. Uh, the Beto, what's up, dude? MCL will win this. I, I hope that we're going the full. I hope we go the full fourteen. I hope we go the full fourteen. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I think it'd be great viewing. And uh, and here we go. OG Highline, what's up, buddy? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll let them get started, and then we'll adjust this. Although I don't think we're going to have to do much adjustment. Uh, I think we're set up real nicely here for McLinks's screen and Finn's. We'll get ready. I'm going to go ahead and close the poll. MCL is now the favorite, I think, as the Brazilian crowd has been coming and making their votes known. MCL comes back, take a roaring lead. Makes sense to me. 193 votes at that point. We're going to close that. Pablo, what's up, dude? Uh, thanks for uh, showing that video on my Discord server the other day. I, I, or yesterday. I did enjoy seeing that. That was pretty cool. If I can pull that 7-star Spidey, I'd want him awakened, I think. Uh, I'll be taking him up. Andrew the Rough. What's up, Andrew? It's my fault he was up till 3 a.m. watching me. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> How could you do that to poor Legacy? <laughs> uh, SSJ, yes, I am. As predicted, as I thought, uh, the question is, am I still grinding for Silk? Uh, I am, unfortunately, I'm only at, I think, 32 million points. As I thought, real life has come up and, and it's just stuff comes up, man. You know, um, I got a job and I got I got two, two, two kids and things come up. So we'll see. I'm going to give it my best today and hopefully I can get back on track, get to a better score because I, I do really want Silk and I've already put in a lot of points. The other cool side is I've opened up all the crystals I've got for it and I think I've gained like, I don't know, probably 15, 1600 units since that happened. I did see the early access bundle go live today, and I, it is very tempting, but I think I'm going to, um, I don't think I'm going to open open those early access ones for Kindred. I've seen people get lucky already, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I just don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it because I could get Silk out of there. So, uh, all right, here we go. Let's focus in on this match. We've got the bands. Um, spot, interesting to get rid of Spot. That surprises me a little bit um oh that's right they're playing the gladiator circuit I, or the victory track i'm so used to gladiator circuit so we've got rid of spot hulkling and starkey on one side and on the other we're getting rid of shuri hulk and archangel banning archangel Always removes that from the from the table, right? When someone pulls that that archangel at the last set, it's like pulling that domino or pulling that nimrod. It's just one that can totally shift the makeup of a match. Uh, <laughs> XLR, you have twenty four hours to respond. Is that for the um, for my silk grind? Yeah, I, I feel like I have till tonight. I'm probably gonna talk to my wife and be like, "Hey, I think I might play tonight," uh, and so we'll see how that goes. And I feel like I can. I don't know. We'll see. I might even start refreshing. Like I've earned so many units just from playing. So I could potentially go into some refreshing. We'll see. Finn has been using Kate at her speed. Kate's amazing, AFO. Kate is amazing. I put up the video on her. I really think she's in the conversation for the best skill champion in the game. I think a lot of it's going to come down to how you're playing, right? I, I, for me, it's King. It's Kingpin. It's Kate. It's uh, Valkyrie and Fury. And it's just kind of like, what do you want? Right, I think that's how good skill has gotten. I do put Shang Chi just a slight tier below, but I know some smart players who think he's exactly in that tier. Uh, but for me, for me, 
for me, it's Kate. For me, it's Kate. And I feel like if I can pull off those results, then man, if you put in a little bit more time, a little more extra effort, getting to know all of her, the ins and outs, I think you're going to pull off even better results. I, I think she's pretty phenomenal. MCL, best player in the world. I I think he's in that tier, uh, uh, Gus. I think he's in that tier. I think it's like, you know, up there with Kingpin and Fury and Kate Bishop, in my opinion. If you have those four skill champions, Killer BZ, what's up, dude? Thanks for being. If you have those four skill you won the game. You've definitely on your way to winning the game. That is for darn sure. Watch Nick uh, take an eye bomb. Well, Nick's a phenomenal player. Nick one three six. We take an eye bomb. Kate, I can see that. I can see that. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, focus in on this matchup. It looks like we're going to have a bishop attacking a domino. I'm going to keep my eye on that one. This is a seven-star bishop. And then we've got Absorbing Man in against Fury. Going to be staying in the Uru form. Uh, look, as I like to point out, it's not just intercepts as far as Absorbing Man is concerned to pause that form. Really nice job of using the heavy in there. And to the special. McLean knows how to play Absorbing Man. It's such a phenomenal champion. And make, well, as I say, I always, I always jinx the competitors. Uh, but as I say, it makes a little mistake. But... He's not out of this. He is not out of this yet. He knows his domino will probably crit fail some things on the bishop side. Although Finn is doing a nice job of using the prowess, turning it into the heel and keeping the health bar of his bishop nice and high. Really smart play. As, as if any of us are surprised. Smart play by FinTech, right? And, and then McLinks is doing a nice job of utilizing the heel of... Absorbing man. Still, uh, oh, okay. So I had looked at Bish at fintech side of the screen. I wasn't sure if we were in the second life of Fury or not yet. It looks as though if Finn can get off a special, he may even end this a little bit faster. He is starting to take a little health loss, though. In fact, I think McLeeks might have more health at the moment. So this one's going to be really tight as we come down to the close. Nice job of baiting the heavy and then getting a heavy push there on McLean's side. He is going for the finish. Let's see if this will finish. It is not use of the striker. This is close one. Wow. That was back and forth. As we into the tail end, I, I was not sure which way that was going to go. I was on McLean's side of the screen. Really nice use of the striker. Closes it out. And he's up 1-0. Go ahead and update the board. He's up 1-0 in the first set. Yeah, bitter steel. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal match. A phenomenal, phenomenal start. Bitter, I understand if you cannot, my friend, but if you're interested in co-hosting today and if you're in shape and, and wanting to do that, feel free to join. And if not, don't even sweat it at all and enjoy the match. All right, here we go. We've got the pre-fight being used on McLean's side. He does have his human torch, as we all know. That's like the Archangel, right? They pull that and it's just, you know... Not much you can do about it. You hope you get yours if you're not banning them. Really nice playing, again, by FinTech. Managing the rock stacks of Korg with a, with his domino. He's lucky here. Let's see if he goes in for the punish. Uh, uh, goes ahead and base that SP2. Nice backdraft intercept. Help him get some of that rock shield down. Good use of the striker. And let's see what this one does. Now, Korg is, is bleed immune, so he's, uh, there's not going to be crit bleeds or anything like that, none of that additional damage. That being said, Finn is managing that health pool really, really well. Has not really lost any of his own. Has a really nice evade of Korg's SP1. And has more health at the moment than McLinx does on the other side of the screen. And then Gallon does his Gallon things. Gallon does his Gallon things. So barring a big mistake from Finn here, it looks like Finn is going to go ahead and win this matchup, regardless of how fast it goes. And at the moment, he looks like he might even win the speed race of the matchup too. 
Domino failed the Unstoppable. At Domino doing Domino things, my friend. Domino doing Domino things. You're going to see RNG hopefully uh, go go both of the competitors' ways today. Helping one, helping the other, hurting one, hurting the other. You know, that's just how this game is. Oh, no worries, better. Thanks a lot for even considering it, my friend. Uh, Miss TK, what is up? Thank you so much for being here. We gave you the let the people know that uh, these are your graphics. We appreciate them. We know where they can find them. The links are in the description. Karate Mike, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Here we go. The final game to decide the first set. It's a bit of a marathon. I don't think any of the competitors has put too much pressure on themselves to win this first one, but of course you'd rather win. We're gonna get to see Silk in action, probably hopefully get to see why I would like to get her from the arena so badly. I know Fintech put a nice amount of points to get him against Spider-Ham. The Power Sting Extraordinaire, a dual threat in the science class, excellent matchup against Rintra, although Rintra does Rintra things. So let's see how this goes. I really do not have a favorite in this one. Rinter, I think, being the tougher defender. So that is a tough matchup for any champion, but Spider-Ham can do it. And Silk is racking up the big damage there. And she's not getting any of those buffs, though. So she's going to be taking that degen damage. Uh, as I'm looking at this now, it's not the easiest matchup for her. To the surprise of no one, though, Finn is managing pretty well. Trying to bait. Warlock does throw. It's not too much waiting having to go on on that side. Really nice power sting there for uh, McLinks with Spider-Ham. I think he would have wanted to punish it with the heavy. Was not able to. Looks like he's going to finish that off. We talked about the dual threat nature of Spider-Ham. McLinks played that very, very, very well. This is not an ideal matchup for, for Silk. As I'm watching it, Finn's doing a great job. But I don't think this is what, you know, she's designed necessarily to do. Warlock can be a bit annoying. And it looks like this one, this first set, was close. Going to go with McLinks and his spider ham. The pig is so good, Mike. Uh, I, he might be my next science um, rank five, which I know you're like, well, then why are you grinding out silk? I don't know. Don't ask me these questions. I don't know why you asked me. But I do, I do love Spider-Ham. I've always loved him. Always, always, always. It was like me and Meta, if anyone who remembers Meta. And I was like, oh, Vega's being crazy again with old Meta. One down, 13 to go. You got that right, Peter Steele. One down, 13 to go. We need McLinks to win this first set, though. For those who tuned in, because I can see so many people tuned in, well, this is a double elimination tournament. FinTech navigated the championship bracket, never losing. As a result... It's only fair for uh, this final matchup to mean he gets a chance to lose twice uh, before he's officially knocked out. McLinks did a phenomenal job, really had a lot of touch matchups. We saw Legacy, Angie the Rough, Bitter Steel. Now he's got to beat FinTech twice, right? So, but the, uh, that's a long journey. He's already completed the first step, which is winning this first set. So here we go. So that's why you'll continue to hear me talk about wanting this to go a best of 14. Uh, do I have an R5 spot yet? No, I don't, Nick. And I, I'm probably thinking a little too far in advance. You know, I did the um, best seven stars to rank two. And I just remember this, right? When six stars came into the game and you just like maxed out your five star and then you pulled the six star. Like, even if it was Doom, it still stung a little bit. And it was, science has probably become my favorite class in the game. It used to be Mystic. It's probably not science because it's so strong. So spot might get passed up by some other champions, even though I love playing spot and he's got a great synergy for America Chavez, which who I love. So I don't know. I don't know. Science is too. Science, I think science is probably the best class. Yeah. With Mike and Bitter saying down there, it just, I love mystics. I love the play of mystics. I love champions that deal with, with power manipulation. Uh, but science is like a little bit of everything now. Like, and, and then somehow silk came in and <laughs> provided some things they didn't already have. I don't know. Every science champion releases a total. Yeah. I mean, right. That's how good science is, is that people are like, oh, Sandman sucks. And it's like, no, he doesn't suck. He's actually pretty good. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal class. And then we've got a, a BG meta that seems almost tailor-made for him. And I think we're really seeing how great he can be in that. So 
Uh, cosmic? I don't think so. Uh, mainly, though, I think it's all going to be how you evaluate things. I think cosmic has like, I think cosmic is top heavy. You know, it's got those four just outrageous champions that can look incredible at so many different things. And then I think it like, it doesn't have a lot in the middle. It's lacking the meat and the potatoes for me. It's lacking the meat and the potatoes. All right, let's get back into the matchup, though, as much as I love interacting with the chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys are baiting me. Everyone in the chat is baiting me. You know, I, I can't I can't ignore you all. I see you I see you. All right. We're going to get Valkyrie here in the hands of FinTech. So be ready to watch this. This is going to be like a maestro playing. It's going to be like a puppeteer on a string. Uh, and then Gallant versus Atuma. I'm not too familiar with that matchup. I would imagine he's going to be taking some Thorns damage back. Yeah, you can see that already happening. Gallant is losing. So uh, this may be a bit of an efficient throw, or he is hoping to just win the speed race here and hope that his sassy can uh, stall things long enough. But but uh, Valkyrie's just going to turn off all the various unstoppables, and Fintech's pretty great at it. So... You can see him already setting up for his first, first special, throws it into block, getting up the passive fury, and just now really taking this down on the Sasquatch. Just wailing into the block, doing so much damage. So, uh, you know, we'll wait till it ends, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be Fintech's, Fintech's uh, game here. Oh, actually, maybe I spoke a little too soon. Fintech's going to have to finish this off. Sassy does go into Wrath, so he's losing that damage mitigation that he had with the, um, what does he call him, Rage Stack or something like that, growing, throwing the SP1, needs that to kill. I think Finn's going to win this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Finn did go ahead and take it down. Well played by MCL, but I think that was Finn's. I think that was Finn's from the beginning. See, Top of Cosmic is super heavy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Michael. Yes. The top, the top is heavy. The top is heavy. That's why, you know, I, I talked about it in my overall tier list I just put out a couple days ago. It's one of the reasons I really like Adam. I don't think he's up there with, you know, Gallon, potentially CGR, definitely not Hulkling, and obviously not Herc. But I think he's in that next tier down, and I think Cosmic just needs a little bit more of that. You know, Hyperion, Null, uh, Adam Warlock. And I think as they get that, uh, I could see them becoming the best in my opinion, the best class right now is it's a uh, it is a uh, science. Skill is pretty amazing too, but we did not come here to create a tier list. We came here to watch this match. Gonna get to see Lady Lady Deathstrike. Looks like she's on defense though. One of the troubling things just she's just new. You know, folks aren't totally sure on how to fight her. Let's see if McLink switches his pre-fight here. He does. And let's watch. I want to particularly interested in how how he goes about this matchup. I imagine he'll still be looking to medium, medium. Yeah, there we go. And he'll work his way to his SP two. Just show that in my rank five scorpion video. He still has to deal with the unstoppable, and then again, just the newness of her moveset. Although he seems to have it down just fine. Those are some really nice punishes. Let's see if he's able to punish this SP two. Yep, you got to go in early. To me, it looks like she's not finished with her, her animation. Uh, but you go in, you can punish that. Gets up the SP2 here. And that should help top him off. So his health bar should stay relatively high. Looks like he got a donation there. Love seeing the support of the competitors. But we can't see his health bar. She is now uh, unblockable. So that is a thing. That is a thing he's going to have to manage. Looks like he managed it just fine. Oh, makes a mistake, though. Let's see if she punishes him. Yep, he is going to pay for that. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to get back to his SP2. We'll see if he can. Because if he can heal back up, he may do okay. Looks like there was a mistake on Finn's side. I wasn't really watching, but he's got so many debuffs. Obviously, there was a mistake. McLinks doesn't know this, but if he can finish this off relatively clean, he's going to come away with a win, and I bet he might be surprised. Let's watch his... Reactions. Why I love the face cam. Let's see his reaction. I think he's probably not expecting a win. Let's see this when he sees the screen. Ooh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. 
or 1-1 one, one in the second. Double pun uh, punished on both sides. Very cool. Thank you, Misty. Neto, what's up, bud? Thanks for being here. Thin 8 and SP2. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I was so focused in on uh, McLinks' side of the screen. Love the Portuguese champs' names. It is always cool to see him. I've uh, I played for years with a, a Brazilian player, so I got kind of used to, to seeing it. Uh, what's up, K Dog? Thanks for being here. All right, here we are. Going to decide the second set. I think this is be big for McLinks. Um, as we've said, for him to win the whole thing, he has to win two best of sevens. I think getting up to a 2-0 lead would do a lot. And there he goes. He's got his chance. Now, he doesn't know this has happened on the left side. But then has made another uncharacteristic mistake. Ooh. And then it uh, looks like maybe uh, a missed evade on the SP1 on the other side. But he still has more health than uh, Finn has with his Kate there. Although, ooh, the power detonation is now on. Neither competitor, I think, is playing at their at their peak in this matchup. Let's see which one can recover and get this fight done. Another mistake on the left side from Finn. Another one. Very uncharacteristic. Would not be surprised to see him take a few seconds, maybe restart his game or something like that. That heal back from future Ant-Man not doing McLinks any favors at all right now. Look at that. Still doing good damage, though. The health bar is going down, so ultimately he's winning that. He just doesn't know it because he can't see his competitor's side of the screen. Let's see if he... He doesn't even try to evade that. He just goes with the block. So I... Oh, and then makes another mistake. They are giving this win back and forth to each other. It's like they are trading the baton, saying, no, you take it. No, 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 you take it. Let's see who ultimately ends up with the win. All right, Finn does have more health than MCL finished that fight with, but he's now going to have to finish off this Herc and then wait out that immortality. I don't know if he's going to even be able to finish Hercules' life. I don't think so. I don't. I think the time on the fight will end before the immortality. Let's see. No, Finn is expertly playing this. Let's see if that smart play gets him the win. Oh, and it does. Unbelievable. Very smart, patient play by Finn there, just to wait it out. He saw the timers. He probably knows the timers. He knows how long the immortality lasts. Clearly, I do not. Whew. And that's got to sting. You know, you've heard me talk about MCL. One of the things that uh, impresses me a lot is that he, he moves on quickly. You know, he'll have a fight go sideways or poorly. Uh, everyone might not be familiar with that saying. And he just moves on. He just moves on exceptionally, exceptionally well. I think he probably will hear, but I think it's going to take a minute because he knows. He knows he could be up 2-0 right now. He knows he could be up 2-0. Will power come in and clutch? Good call, Shiva. Good call. That was pretty savage. Yeah, wow. You, you all pretty much summed it up. This is wow. Eternity Null and Fury blocked Hate's Evade. Ah, okay. I didn't catch that. I just saw uh, getting hit. Thank you for pointing that out. And then Phantom has SP1 catching people off guard. Yep. He's, again, a new and relatively new defender. I've, I have a rank five um, uh, Phantom Man. Often gets banned. I think people don't want to mess with him. He only has one, I think, natural counter in the game right now, or one pure natural counter in Hulkling. So that's another reason, too. People just don't want to deal with him. He has weird specials. He does. One of the competitors was, um, maybe it was Finn, or it might have been Andrew. It was one of the recent competitors who made it pretty far, like one of the final six or so, was evading them flawlessly. And it made me realize that it can be done. CGR wrecks him. Are you sure? I mean, CGR can do a lot of things. 
Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to that. If you guys want to write up how that can happen, that'd be cool. All right. looks like quite a few people have seen it. I did not see the band, so I don't know if they have been uh, updated or changed. CGR also wrecks feature Ant-Man. That's a surprise to me. I would think maybe Mordo could do it too with the soul bar. Back to the match. Everyone's like, uh, this is really nice that we're all going to learn how to fight future Ant-Man, but there is a match being played. You know that, right? Uh, this is kind of an ideal... Well, there's a few issues with Lady Deathstrike for this matchup against Domino, but she can do it exceptionally well. Where it can be a little bit difficult is when she has that chance to go unstoppable during the specials, because it's a chance, of course, Domino, you know how that how she does things, uh, can fail that ability, even though Lady Deathstrike's ability accuracy can't be reduced against mutants. So let's see if that comes up to bite Finn here, but I, I, it doesn't look like it's going to. He's handling this very well. Looks like he'll throw his SB2 to go into the Ferocity. That'll also give him the ability to parry uh, or block a hit if he should want to or need to. But it looks like he's going to be A-OK -okay and not have to uh, worry about that. Did lose a little bit of health. Did lose a little bit of health. But on the other side of the screen, his Domino has done a phenomenal job, taking off more than enough health from that Juggernaut. All Finn has to do is pretty much uh, just finish this off, and he's going to go ahead and take it. He had the more natural counter for the dominant there so not a massive surprise and that's part of winning a matchup right is you win the fights you're supposed to win put yourself in a good position with your draft and your bands and finn did a nice job there so no surprise okay it's okay i check back if, if into the chat and we're still just naming different ways to beat up phantom man this is fun <laughs> The standard CGR rotation fate seals him. Oh, he can be fate sealed. Okay, that's why I didn't. I didn't know. I thought that would uh, can be considered a nullify, and then just well, doesn't that give him the passive armors? Um, so that's why I was a little surprised by that. I imagine Herc would be pretty good too, as long as we're back on talking about Phantom Man, because of his uh, infuriate, he can get intercepts a little bit. Also, Hercules is pretty good, is my understanding. He's he's pretty good in this game. Finn is getting hit more than he would like. I, I think he's going to be pretty contented that he came in with a win in the second. Yeah, I would love... Uh, well, are you offering for you to join? Or are you just like, there's 300 and some odd people watching, you want one of them to join? <laughs> but if you're offering to join, yes, I would love to have you on call, my friend. <laughs> Mike's used to me in my sense of humor. Okay, we got Atuma going here again to Rintra. I believe this is probably an efficient play. We're just talking about future Ant-Man ways to fight him. I know Tiger can be good. Let's see this uh, work. Oh, no, wait, doesn't that still just give him his, his armor ups, his passes? Yeah, the neutralize will still just give him that. So let's see how this works out. He is able to get up the ruptures, though. Let's see how much this SP2 does. I think that'll... That did not do a lot. This is not looking good. See, I thought Tiger could do, uh, but he's not going to get any favors from the neutralize. And it doesn't look like he's really nuking this to me. Let's see if this SP2 does it. There we go. Now we're seeing some damage. Still lost some health though, but I don't think a tomb is going to be able to get down that, that Rintra. We'll see. Finn has built him up. He's got all those concussions and the hydration. Ben's starting to put in some work. And I believe he definitely has more health. He needs Rincher to throw this SP2, but I don't think... Oh, okay, there it is. I was just going to say, I don't think this matchup is a foregone conclusion yet, but then once Rincher goes red, it, it definitely is. 
McLean's is going to go ahead and take this one. With the chance to uh, secure a 2-1 lead, which would obviously be how he wants it to go. Blinks has two defenders for himself with really only absorbing man as an attacker, which he should be okay with. I want to see who he puts down. If he's going to put down his Mephisto or his Korg. I would imagine it'll be his Mephisto. Yeah. One of the few competitors that lets Fintech have his Tigra. And then on this side of the screen, McLinks is doing a really nice job of pausing his forms. I imagine he's going to want to either get the Defending Absorbing Man just out of any form completely, or he's going to want him to be in Magma. There he goes. He's done a nice job. Let's see if he punishes us with the heavy. Yep. That should knock Absorbing Man out of, out of his form. It's going to go in heavy into the special. Nice damage. Finn has lost some health there, so he's going to win the time. But keep an eye on the health bar. We're aware of the uh, scoring change and the difference that is making. MCL is doing a very nice job of not letting Absorbing Man get back into Uru, right? He doesn't want that because it's going to be that physical resistance, which would really nerf his damage uses the striker well heavy into the special right and absorbing man uh reduces the timing on the unstoppable this is not over finn or not finn mclinks definitely has a chance to win this he, but he's got to keep playing this pretty much flawlessly like he's been doing it is not easy he's to, i think he might pull this off oh he did it he did it Some of you might say there was a better way to do that. I don't know. That looked flawless to me. He had to be flawless. I think he was. And he comes away with the win. That was a big time play from MCL. Yeah, that look, I mean, just. There's a lot of moving parts in that fight for him. And I think he nailed it. Mike, uh, I think Karate Mike has joined us. Are you there, bud? Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Doing good, man. How are you? Great. Thanks for offering to do this. Uh, I, obviously, you were joining in the Discord and all that stuff. Were you able to see that fight from McLinks there? Uh, no, I was just getting uh, everything all set up. Yeah. What did I miss? I, I, it was a, I think it was pretty much flawless of a... Absorbing Man versus Absorbing Man takedown, doing it oh, wow. uh, better than Finn was able to take out Mephisto. Now, Finn lost some health. I think he knew that was probably going to happen against the Mephisto, but it was just a really, really pretty Absorbing Man versus Absorbing Man fight. Well, McLinks has been uh, wanting that Absorbing Man in his draft for a while now, going back to that uh, that nine-rounder against Legacy. <laughs> he didn't pop up a single time. <laughs> uh, everyone, I'm... I'm I'm raising Mike's volume a little bit. Let me know if I do it too much or not enough. And Mike, I'll, I'll adjust it on my side. So don't, okay. don't, uh, but thank you so much for joining my friend. I really appreciate you offering. Of course, dude. No worries. Uh, I have, I have shared my screen. If you are able to and want to pull that up, just so you can be as up to, up to the second on the action. How do I look at that? I have no what, idea. What, 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 what do I click? I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably like a view screen. If you're in, if you're in that chat, there's probably like a view stream um, option. Oh, watch stream. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a whole two seconds faster. It really it's is. Crazy. It, yeah, great. it's it's like life changing, right? Yeah, I can never go back again. No, no, <laughs> I will never watch a stream on YouTube again. I want direct Discord share streams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what's up? Thank you for being here, Ghost Dog. I see Alberto too, a chorus, Eternity, Metric Area. What is going on? Thank you so many people for being here. Going to continue on. We've got a great one going on so far. I know a lot of people have shown up in the last uh, 20 minutes or so, so we probably updated. This is a double elimination tournament. Yes, this is the championships. This is the finals. FinTech navigated the whole thing without any losses. So 
not only does McLinks need to beat FinTech in this best of seven, but to win the whole thing, he would have to win this one and then an additional best of seven. Right now he's doing it though. As pointed out, in case you missed it, the second set was very close. McLinks really could have won it. He didn't, but he recovered very, very nicely, like he almost always does in these tournaments. Here we go. We got the ant again. <laughs> it's like uh, a common theme. I, I, love, I love how all of these rounds, like in your tournaments, seem to find like their theme. You yeah. know, it's like core gun defense, no absorbing man, future ant man on defense. That that's what this one is. This is the the ant man round. I, I think that's that's a great point, right? Because when whenever we hear like RNG, I think we all think it will be random, but it will also somehow be orderly, right? Like like right. <laughs> um, just like if it didn't happen this round, that means it'll definitely happen in the next one because it's a coin flip. Uh, but no, it's it's just a new a new roll of the dice each time. And so we end up with these themes. And you're right, Ant-Man is making his presence known. It just, it just doesn't... I have to say, even the Tiger versus Ant-Man fight didn't look smooth to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's just annoying to fight against. You know, he like drains your power after a certain amount of time and, and it's always right when you don't want him to yeah you know it'll be like right when you reach two bars of power up oh, there goes the power detonation then you can't finish your combo against him because he'll stun you and you know finn had tiger that round so no surprise scorp is great obviously and he's fine for ant-man but i mean it was tiger versus herc with finn so yeah that's uh you're not winning that one Uh, I, I, Oakley, what's up, buddy? I see the question. I see a lot of people joining. I see K21. Thanks for being here. Uh, yes, Marcelo does stream. He streams on Twitch. The links to all of the competitors and definitely the two in the finals are in the description. I would appreciate if you pull them up, give them a subscribe or um, or whatever they call it on Twitch. I can't remember at the moment. Uh, but he does a phenomenal, phenomenal show. I really enjoy it uh, when I'm able to catch it. So just looking at the remaining drafts here, I think I'm favoring Finn for, for this round. Hey, Michael, do, uh, I, I see a couple important things I need to take care of. I'm going to be kind of off voice for, uh, it could just be 30 seconds, but. Sure. Thank you. All good? Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to my channel. This is now my tournament, and I've done a great job running it up until this point. Thank you for watching the finals. All right, so we have Domino versus Fury and Bishop or Warlock versus Bishop. So here comes that Domino again. Finn has had some great luck with Domino RNG and also some less than great luck with Domino RNG. So let's see what Domino he's going to be rolling out of his deck this time. Warlock, of course, a very strong option for Bishop. With the Unstoppable, it could get a little messy. It could get a little more complicated. But something tells me that McLinx knows how to handle this with the timing. Fury is down to about 50% health now. And this is a big 7-star Bishop. I do believe it's rank 2. So he's pretty beefy here. Nick Fury is about to go down to his second life. But... McLinx played that almost perfectly, and Bishop is now on. Ah, he's KO'd. Domino has the entire second life of Fury left, so while Finn did a fantastic job, when the defender has two lives and both fights go really, really well, you know, you got to go through two health pools here, so... It was a very, very, very clean fight 
with the Warlock versus Bishop there. One more special two will probably end it here from Domino against this Fury. Looking for the crit bleed. Didn't happen. Striker into the block. Fury was feeling generous there. Ridiculous decks from Finn. <laughs> and it was two great matches. Right, at this point, we have a Silk versus Gallon. Finn is very, very good with his Silk. I believe this is a rank 5 Sig 200 Silk. And we have Absorbing Man versus Nick Fury, who is definitely a very decent enough matchup here. But if Finn has a good Silk fight, this is going to be over pretty quickly here. So I'm definitely favoring Finn unless there is a very uncharacteristic mess up. Here comes the special two. And finishing it off with a special one. And like I was saying last time, two fantastic fights from start to finish. However, Nick Fury has two lives. And Finn ended with 100% health. So it looks like the score is 2-2 two, two going in to match five. Hey, Mike, I just tuned in about 15 seconds ago. You're doing a great job, and um, I really need to get back to the silk grind, apparently. So, <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. But that was pretty amazing. You, it sounded like uh, I did have to kind of tune out there, um, but it sounded like you were expecting that result of silk versus... Yeah, versus silk okay. is, is very, very, very good. Silk is, is actually phenomenal. Okay, and so Finn took took the fourth two one. It looks like. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Max Ray, thank you so much for being here, Max. Talk about someone who's done pretty well for themselves in BBC tournaments this season one. Thank you for uh, coming over and bringing some of your crowd with you. And I see Na as well. So many people. Thanks for being here, everybody. Just to catch everyone up, because we continue to have more people coming in as it, as it goes, which is normal for streams, is this is a double elimination tournament. This is the finals, yes. Fintech has not lost any rounds yet, any matches yet, we should say. So McLinks has a large, large, uh, what do you want to call it? It's, it's, a, it's a trial, a tribulation here. He's got to beat Fintech in this best of seven and then do it again to win the championships. Finn has to win this one, but Finn has earned that. Finn has earned that. Now, one thing to note, since we have been win trading here, it's been best of, it's been all three rounds for the first four matches, and it's gone back and forth like ping pong. So we have three matches left. So this is essentially a best of three at this point. You know what's weird is I think they're winning their non-invite round two. That is interesting. Uh, let me confirm that, though. Because you're right, it is alternating every other. Uh, no, Mick Link's invited first, so I think they're actually winning their invite round. That makes a bit more sense. Yeah, that's more. Which kind of shows you, like we talked about, I always like to say the razor thin margins and the skill level of everybody. Uh, I, I haven't paid attention to it, but I do feel like all of the times MCL did not get his absorbing man against lags, he's getting him now. <laughs> he, See, that's R, that's, yeah. that's RNG. It all balances out eventually. Yeah.
So you have Valkyrie versus Korg fight, which is a very fun fight to watch if it's done properly. And I'd be willing to bet Finn knows how to do this one pretty darn well because I've seen him do it. So it'd be a pretty safe bet to have. We have CGR versus the pig. Now, the pig evades when he gets to six spider nonsense, which build... Ooh, but... Yeah. That happened. Okay. So that one... That right there, that one little mistake of the popper coming up, that, that may decide the match. Well, okay, so as I was saying here... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that the pig <laughs> evades... Um, heavily when he gets above six spider nonsense which he builds when he's above one bar of power so if he gets this uh special two very very quickly he can nuke him like he did but it looked like he what ha what exactly happened there i'm not sure exactly what happened but he got a, a porker popper on him and that did a lot of damage in the special two yeah but finn did mess up a little bit on the side so this is going to be a very very close match here Wow, and it looks like the Lynx took it. Yeah, I, there must have been. I didn't see the mess up on Finn's side. As soon as uh, I saw the Porker Popper damage on CGR, I thought for sure Finn was going to have this. But this is why you play the game, right? Uh, I didn't see it, though. It all happened so fast. Yeah, it did. <laughs> on both sides. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so oh, MCL man. is up 1-0 in the set. Kind of yes. kind of continuing the theme. Let's see if it finishes off. Right now, I don't know if this the theme of this one is Phantom Man or if it's Spider-Ham. Hmm. We have Mojo versus Domino, which is interesting here. I think it it really seems like Ben is trusting is Jessica Jones to do some damage here. Because he had that Absorbing Man on the side that he could have used for Domino very effectively. I believe he's saving him for defense. Let's see what happens here. Those are some big power sting bursts. Do you know what rank um, that that pig is? It's got to be a five. I, I'm seeing yeah, the that, 24. Those are some big, big, big bursts. Yeah, those are. He does have the Ant Man relic. I'm not sure how that's exactly modifying, but he's about to take out this Jessica. Yeah, that's wow. That was a fantastic fight. Holy that cow! Fight, yeah, I don't think that uh, Finn expected that fight to go down that efficiently. No. This is also. A great mojo fight against Domino on the left. Domino, of course, has a lot of things going on. It looks like she just failed his fury. So, you know, complications of Domino, of course. Yeah, that's going to give uh, McLynx a 3-2 advantage there. Yeah, and we have, our we have our first 2-0. We have our first 2-0 set. So as I was, we're going way back in the stream. As I was saying, I think Spider Ham might be my next science rank five. <laughs> I mean, like, would it be the worst decision, man? <laughs> it does not appear to be the case. Yes, <laughs> I, I was, I was positive it would have been Spot. There's a, you know, a couple months ago, I would have said Spot for sure. But uh, you know, <laughs> science class is too good, dude. It's yeah. just, it's crazy. It really is. It really is. Uh, so, yeah, Ham is not here to play. Ham is not here to play. Still needs to be... Uh, my Yeah, my grind is not going well. Real life has kicked in. All right, here we go. I, Finn's got to win this to push it to the seven. Yep. Well, again, he he's got a whole another uh, another set. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for reminding me. Because, again, people continue to, to, um, to come in for you. Finn... It's a double elimination tournament. If Finn loses this set of seven, we're going to do another whole set of seven. It looks like the bands have stayed consistent. I, I really focused in on them in the beginning of the match. I haven't paid too much attention to them since. And I feel like it's the same ones. Hulk might be new, though. 
There's the pig. Does Finn have Spider Ham in his? Is that why he's maybe not banning him? I think he does. I don't often see that out of FinTech. I don't often see him ban someone who he wants to use. But I mean, at some point, you gotta you gotta face what what the Spider Ham is doing with the McLinks. Both have a rank five pig. Okay, it's low sig. Ah, okay. I love this. Human Torch came up and was not picked. And I think yeah. I think we've had <laughs> one Human Torch fight in this in this series, and it it didn't go well, if I remember correctly. I just love it uh, that I, I love that Battlegrounds has gotten to that point. Double Atuma Defenders. I don't think I'm seeing... Probably CGR from McLinks here, I would guess. Yeah, probably continuing between him and Domino. Domino. Yeah. Mm. And Gallon. I would probably give the edge to Gallon here in this meta. If it was the Gladiator Circuit meta, I would easily say Domino. Because Domino would get that bleed on her. Yeah, and it would be like a 10 second fight unless, you know, you or I are using her, then it would be a timeout, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Dom, let's see what, what it, yeah, Domino, and that's been a theme of this tournament. Domino has not been helpful to people on offense. Like she has yeah. not been getting those big crit fails. All the ones that our opponents get when we play Battlegrounds, uh, yeah, she's not been doing that for people. So Gallon in particular for Atuma isn't the best option, but he's a pretty good budget option because of the physical resistance that he builds. It's similar to what Absorbing Man does against him, where he kind of ignores the thorns. Still takes thorns, as we're seeing, but he also regens during Harvest as well. Domino finished off that fight relatively healthy. And yeah. now we're in a bit of an interesting situation here on the left. I... We got one more. This is going to end the fight. It looks like Domino took it. Yeah. So I have a question for you there. Do you think Finn misplayed it? Um, meaning he thought maybe that first harvest or whatever it's called. I can't even remember. But do you think he thought that was going to finish a Tuma? Um um, I don't think he did. I think because okay. he knows he knows the numbers there with uh, with the harvest and everything. So, yeah, that's why I'm a little. I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think he he expected that to finish him off. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Gallon could finish that fight a bit healthier if he did. He would have taken it. Now we're having a Rinter off, and we're gonna see the pig again. So if, yeah, I mean, if McLinks does big things like he has been doing, this this could be it. Okay, so this is it, and and this bug has been fixed. When Kate first came in, her knocking down of uh, Rintra with her heavy wasn't counting yes. for Rintra's mystical charges. I believe that's been fixed. I do believe it has been, yeah. I feel like Spider Ham's the more natural counter here, but this is kind of Kate. Like she could do yes. things that aren't her ideal. This is close. I'm really enjoying watching this one, guys. It, the sparks are really going to fly now, though, because Finn did get up both of the cold snaps. The unstoppable comes at a really bad time for Finn. Yep. And he's like going to go. The pig is starting to cook here. Yeah. And the cold snaps are falling off. Yep. Mm. There was another very bad time for Finn, unstoppable there against Rintra, that allowed them both to fall off. I 
Oh! MCL just wants to end this fight. You can see it on that yep. side. Yep, and I think we're going to uh, the second round here. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. All right. Uh, great fights. Great fights by both sides. The way they're playing, I could see them both wanting to just be like, let's go. Let's run it back. I mean, that's amazing, right? Uh, the, uh, Absolutely. Very, very close across the board on almost every single round. All right. Um, let me update this. If uh, I'm going to kind of let them do what they want, guys. If they want to take like a 10-minute break, they can take a 10-minute break. If they want to just go directly into the next one, we will go directly into the next one. If you see them pop up in chat, let me know. Uh, I don't think Finn has the ability to do much communicating while he's streaming. Uh, J Will, I think I see you in Finn's chat. Are you? If you're in this one too, or is you might not be. Can you take two minutes for coffee, MCL? Absolutely. I will uh, I will flip a coin to decide who's going to invite for your second your second set of matches your second set. We've never really come up with a term for because this is the first time we've run into this. <laughs> All right, so I'm flipping the coin. MCL will be heads, meaning if it comes up heads, MCL will invite. If it comes up tails, fintech will invite. It comes up tails. Fintech is inviting. Came up tails. Fintech will be inviting. There you go. Yeah, and Marcel's going to take a 10 minute break. I'm actually going to take a few, uh, few second break myself. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Mike, I know, uh, <laughs> I know you, you likely can't stay for the whole thing. So if you, if you got to go, please don't feel badly at all. Hey man, I'm here right now. Yeah, I love it. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. See uh, Finn going through every single match. Getting ready for the uh, that second set. If there's one thing about Finn. I don't know if we're still live. I don't know if I'm talking. Yeah, to you, just you uh, no, you're you're, you're, you're live. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you already know this. I don't have to be telling you this. Yeah. But one thing about Finn is when he loses to something and when he makes a mistake, he's probably not going to make that mistake again. So he's taking this time to go through all the matches, absorbing that for the next one. Would you say he's an absorbing man? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, oh you're like, dude, I thought you said you had to go away for a few minutes. <laughs> it's way too early in the afternoon for that. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll be right back. But you are in very good hands. I'll be right back. All right, folks, if you have recently joined the stream, we just finished the first set of seven between Fintech and McLynx. It ended up going to McLynx. He won in six. Went on a bit of a roll there at the end. The first four matches were going back and forth incredibly close. Three-round matches every single time between the two competitors. We're going to see one more best of seven. It is a double elimination tournament. And so far, Finn has not lost. This is the first round that he has lost to anybody in the tournament so far. So that means that McLynx has to beat him two times in a row. 
If anybody is in Finn's stream, um, please let him know that McLinks is just taking a little coffee break. He should be back in about six to seven minutes or so. I see Finn sending him a message in game, but as he just said, McLinks is going to get that coffee, so he won't be getting an answer back from him. If somebody could let him know, that would actually be great. One thing I'm very interested to see for the upcoming set is if some of those bands change. Because if I was in Finn's shoe right now, I would definitely consider banning that spider ham that has been an absolute menace for McLinks. And once again, folks, if you are not subscribed to McLinks or Fintech, the information is in the description of the stream. They are two fantastic competitors and great members of the community. Please take a moment and give them a follow. They're great people and people that you do want to follow. <laughs> Someone in chat saying, Mike saying, once again, folks, gave me such spider ham vibes. Well, like we've been saying, it's a spider ham kind of day. Vega and I were talking earlier about how these these matches seem to like find their themes. And this, the, uh, this one seems to be spider ham and future Ant-Man. At least the past six rounds were. We'll see what happens in, this, in the upcoming set. Should be just a couple of minutes before we get back into the fighting here. Rafa asking me if I'm grinding for top eight next season. Well, I don't think I'm allowed to, since I am hosting slash commentating on the tournament in Vancouver as of now. Um, that would be a bit awkward to play and commentate at the same time. Might be possible, might be allowed, but we'll just go with no for now. Though it would be fun. Certainly be fun. Bad news, coffee is over. All right, McLinks is back. Uh, McLinks, um, if you're still here, Fintech sent you a message in game. So just check that real quick. Just let him know that you're back. He's been waiting for you, um, but uh, you, were, you were getting coffee at the time. 
All right, Michael, thank you so much for uh, for whatever it is you did. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. <laughs> no worries, man. I did some things. Beautiful. I see the chat. I see the chat. Are you, uh, I see Manuel saying that you might be doing the, uh, are you going to be in Vancouver uh, for the battle? As of now, as, as of now, that is the plan. Awesome. That'll be great. That might be one more reason for me to consider going. I think you should. Yeah. I think the summit will be a lot of fun. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting a little more details here, a little bit more about what they have in store for us as far as like the hangout, the what do we get yeah. to learn? What do we get to see? Who do we get to meet? That kind of stuff. There should be some fun stuff going on. I think I can change that pinned comment now. All right, and look at that. There goes the spider ham ban, just like I predicted. Now, I have a question. Did we able to notice if Finn removed spider ham from his deck? I don't believe he did. Um, I wasn't watching the screen intently the entire time for the 10 minutes, but I don't recall seeing him do that. Uh, if anybody else in the chat was and says differently, feel free. I do not believe he took uh, made a little deck change. I'm gonna have to try to pay. He did not. If I, people saying he didn't. He didn't. Okay. Well, and that does like uh, lessen the pool of champions he then has to draft from. So I could see that. Yes, of course. It, like, that is rare for Finn. I don't feel like I see him do that very often. I haven't, you know, looked for that specifically in his matches, but I do think that's new. Okay, just to kind of explain to everyone real quick, because I know it is a little confusing. Yeah, this is it. Whoever wins this best of seven wins the whole thing. Wins it all. Finn has won two of the tournaments. We've had four tournaments this year. Legacy won the first. Finn then won the next two. MCL has been right there in all of the ones he's competed in. He's on the doorstep here of winning his first, which would be the fourth and final. And this one was kind of built to be the biggest, the toughest. There was only, I think, 16 competitors. They all had to qualify for it in the other tournaments. So this was really the, uh, the cream of the crop. And no absorbing man for McLinks. We have an Atuma off again. And we have a Bishop versus Atuma off, double on both sides. And it's both. Now that is yeah. very interesting. And it's both seven star duped bishops. Oh no, one is not duped. Right. One's not duped, but the, the dupe is not going to matter much on, on offense here. That's a good point. And it looks like both started with just two concussions, so we have a very even matchup. I'm assuming they're both rank four Sig 200. Possibly rank five, but I think they're both rank four. The thorn sandwich has not been equal. It has not been, and and there is that uh, that RNG. You know what I'm? Oh, and there's a mistake. I was also wondering because one's not duped. See, I was looking at their PI. I'm wondering if one of them is a rank two and one's a rank one. That's very possible. I think. Yeah, McLinks might be a rank two while Finns is a rank one. Since their PI is almost identical, but Finns yeah. is duped. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think regardless, I think Finn has this one here. Yeah, it's an interesting matchup, Bishop versus Atuma, because the more concussion that Atuma has, the more thorns you're going to take. And. Now, Bishop's great for, for the passive stun. When that happens, Atuma's still going to get a concussion. So Finn's really leaning into the regen here. And I mean, I don't think he expected the other fight to go like it did. 
But yeah. Really want to lean into the regen to make up some of that uh that thorns damage that he takes. Yeah, and that's just kind of like playing what he thought the other fight would go like, right? Or trying to maximize what he feels like his score could possibly be. Because as you said, yeah, especially he, with the scoring changes. Yeah, and he doesn't know they they're not listening to each other. They don't they're not listening to us. Uh, they don't know what's going on. Uh, Cherry and Sandy felt like those both are ones versus rank fives. Okay. Oh, Phantom Man is back and we're going to get to see silk this is one of silk's ideal matchups here right this gonna, is, yeah it's 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 a good matchup it could get a little interesting because if sasquatch decides to go into wrath at like six charges it's it, you're just not gonna have a good time because when uh sassy goes stun immune silk is not going to be able to chain up those furies right so that's why finn's going rushing 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 to that special too Right, while his wrath is still low before he goes into wrath, and as you can see, going very, very, very well so far. But Spidey is also very fast on the right side. But one more special one, and yeah, Finn just ended this fight. Yeah, so that was a great, 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 great fight, uh, played perfectly by Finn. Now, if that was a seven-star rank two, eh, we might have had a, a, a bit more trouble here. Uh, because, you know, again, if he goes into Wrath at 6 or 7, at that point, you're going to have to calm down a little bit, right? You're going to have to wait out the Wrath. You know, Silk doesn't have buffs, you don't have to worry about Mystic Dispersion or anything like that. But that was a beautiful, beautiful Silk fight, and really shows the potential of what Silk can do. I mean, it just looks so smooth. I, I feel like it was, would you say, Silky smooth? It was kind of Silky smooth. All right, thank you. I'll give right, you that one. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for giving me the bravery to make that joke. You know, I see McLink's actually restarting his game. I uh, I couldn't tell if it was his stream that had a few little hiccups or if it was the game itself. Yeah, I definitely saw some lag spikes. I thought it was the stream, but yeah. if that was the game, that's not very fun. So no, not fun at all. Restart there. Do you think Finn wins regardless, though? He handled that. You can tell he's experienced that. He had thought through that Sasquatch fight. He knew exactly what he was yes. doing. It was like and you explained he it. He has practiced it more than once. Well. Yeah. He's, he's definitely <laughs> done one quite a few times. Um, and I, I have actually seen him do it against a rank two Sasquatch. That's why I was bringing it up. Oh, uh, okay. It could get a little dicey. It could. And and the, the video that I saw of him doing it was great, but it did get dicey because the health pool is so much higher on the seven-star rank two that he's just very possibly going to enter wrath and at that point you have to stall he's he's gonna get annoying that's why he rushed his special two to get that before he could even enter wrath before he goes stun immune so he can nuke him down with a big special two and then finish it off with a special one bitter steel's making an interesting point oh uh yeah we already decided that finn still had finn, uh piggy in there but still making a good point too wondering if maybe we start to see silk remove silk band I can see it happening, yeah. She is, you know, the thing is, it's that was a 40-second Sasquatch fight. How long would it take Human Torch to do that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, if, if you and, and, and would he finish at 100% health? Probably not. 97% maybe. Yeah, and when that's when you're like, when someone just takes down your best defender that quickly, it, it causes you to think about it. Here's a torch, and there's a Sasquatch up there. We might get yeah. to see that matchup. We no, actually, we don't. We, we, actually, we don't get to compare it, unfortunately. I was actually hoping for it. That would have been nice. Yeah. Now, there is that Sasquatch there. So, you know, Finn has two more uh, champions to grab. Take that Sasquatch. He does have Kate. Could work. Oh, but look, <laughs> look who pops up. Yeah. I, I, if we Man. see it again, I think he's going to start banning Silk. Yeah. Now, here's a Jessica. Glinks had a wonderful Fury versus Jessica fight against the Legacy last week. That surprised me at how, how, how well that went. It was a very, very solid fight.
but I wouldn't expect to see Jessica pop up until round three. Because I'm sure Intex saw that fight. It sees the fury on that side. Who's going to take this core? Oh, he's got an absorbing man. Yeah. At least McLink's got his absorbing man. So now here's a big topic of discussion. Who's a better defender, a Tuma or a Quark? <laughs> well, so, well, yeah, it was a great time to test it. Let's find out. Now, okay. This really sucks for Finn. He, the, pre the pre fight didn't take? Well, he clicked Uru first. And he realized it immediately. And then he clicked Magma. Now, I don't think it's going to matter. But, well, ah, he's refining now. Interesting. Very interesting here. I would have thought that he would have swapped Magma. I think most people know, uh, but just to kind of, can you tell them essentially yeah, what he, yeah. So, so the thing with Absorbing Man, he's a very versatile champion when you're in, great fight by Mickelinks, by the way. When you're in uh, uh, Uru form, you have physical resistance, and when you are in Magma form, you have energy resistance, but you have energy damage on your attacks. So that means you're not going to be taking any thorns damage from Korg whatsoever. You could medium, light, 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 medium, get rid of your thorns all day, every day, or forever. You'll never take thorns damage from him. Uh, when you're in Uru, you could bait out the heavy attacks. You, you, it's actually still decent to take Korg with Uru. It's just not as efficient as Magma. So I wonder what would have happened if that Magma stuck. It looks like he just made the decision to stay in Uru and see what the best he can yeah. make out of it. Because the, the thing is, if you, regardless of, of which you choose, you want to get that form refined. So if Finn has to get to special two, and he has to get back to special two before he can get his passive um, incinerates. So I, I think at that point, he, he made the cost evaluation that, you know, I can either refine this and play really well and have a chance, or I could uh, just hope that he messed up against Atuma, which he probably knew that he didn't. This is a fight that he's done quite a bit with Absorbing Man, who's one of his favorite champions. I think in that moment he made the decision, I'm just going to stick with Uru. I think this is going to come down to if Bishop crits on that SP2. And it is a 7-star, so the stat focus is probably crit rating. So Kate. far, Jessica's going down pretty efficiently there. Yeah, Kate is doing work. Here comes that special, too. Let's see what happens. No yeah. crit. No. And yeah, wow, okay, wow, Kate did a really good job there. Wow. Solid fight by McLinks again on the right, but Kate did really, really well, and I'm 99% sure he's taking this one. I, the, the numbers are blurry, but I'm pretty sure he's close to 14,000 health. Yeah. Or 14,000 points. Yeah, so we're going to round three. Now this is interesting here. I think we're going to see actually Fury on defense and Stark Spidey take that Jessica while Hercules takes Fury. That's my prediction. Well, Jessica gets placed on D. Yeah, to avoid the Sasquatch versus Silk matchup. Kind of seen it already happen, right? Yep. 
versus Fury and yeah. Starkey versus Jessica. Yeah. I even with Silk not Silk not being used, she still influenced this this set. Has a huge presence. Yep. Now is this Stark Spidey rank five? I would think with that PI, right? He's got a pretty low one if I remember correctly. Yes, he does. Um, the Glinks doesn't go for the full ramp right away. Kind of seems like he's comfortable with this, though. This doesn't look like he's, like, experimenting. It feels like he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. So one thing to note is that against Jessica, you're going to see a special two right here. You're completely safe to throw one special two as long as you've had zero debuffs on you in the fight. After that, you don't really want to be using special attacks unless you have a cleanse mechanic. So, like, you know, Zemo or Jabari Panther or Shang-Chi, right? Something like that. But it looks like yeah, this is um, just a moment here. Looks like we're going to see this closed out by Starkey. And he has a higher health pool than Hercules does right now. And McLynx takes the round. I, I heard you with that little bit of pause. It's that thing when you're the announcer and you don't want to jinx him, right? <laughs> exactly. I didn't Because yeah. anything can happen. He can get hit by a... Yeah. Uh, by a special two when Jessica rolls the sink. Yeah. And then it's just, just done. She runs in, she throws a heavy attack, done. Yeah. I mean, she could literally throw a pizza at him. <laughs> and then something happened on the left here. I'm not sure how Hercules has 1% health. Uh, it was just a mistake of some sort. I didn't Patrick see what caused the mistake, but I looked up yeah. and I saw I mean, it. It, would, it wouldn't matter regardless. That was a very solid Starkey versus Jessica fight. And Starkey hits very, very hard. Wasn't even ramped, by the way. He was at like four or five poise charges. Finn had a full XP1 dex of the Fury. Yeah, this is kind of skills we got here. He went unstoppable just in time for the last of the SP1. Okay, thanks, alternate. All right, I mean, I, is anyone surprised? We're tied up one to one. <laughs> this one. Um, the to take the first best of seven, four two, forcing the second set of best of seven. It's a double elimination tournament. They've now each had one loss. The winner of this wins the whole thing. Let's see if Silk survives this round of bans. Yeah, uh, looks like no hesitation at all for McLinks. Didn't he's he does not look to me like he's even considering it. And Finn is staying consistent with the Spider-Ham ban. The Spider-Ham, for those of you who did not catch the first round of seven, Spider-Ham was an absolute menace. He and Phantom Man were very, very present, but Spider-Ham and McLinks had some phenomenal scores. Really well played, of course, with McLinks. But Finn has decided he wants no part of that. Uh, McLinks looks awfully calm right there. He's got to select his champions. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, that was on Finn's side. That makes me feel a little bit better. Sparky's still the best spider. I, this, it's The spiders are much like the science class. They're so good. These two very could well face each other. They really could. This could be a prelude to the uh, battle room brawl itself. It looks like I could be told that it's not actually McLinks. Okay, we'll go back to calling him MCL. Then we get to see Danny, Danny Moonstar, which will be uh, pretty exciting. 
She is awakened, you know, part of my, not issues with her, but my seven star is not awakened. And I did really want that six star. So we may get to see her and see that get used, those portions of her awakened ability. Having her at that sig one is really helpful for Fury. You want that elevated sig as much as you can. Rely less on RNG. I do wonder who MCL chose her for. Yeah, same here. Just looking at the draft, you know. Uh, the, 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 at first, I was thinking, like, you know, could be a worst case scenario versus a thing with the passive slow. But, you know, he has Valkyrie there. If MCO wins this, I might have to say that Absorbing Man is the best champion in the whole game. Because I, I just. <laughs> I don't see it, uh, given it's a Scorpion versus Rinter on the other side. So I think I'll I'll definitely give the uh, the advantage to Scorpion here. But one thing that that um, Absorbing Man has going on for him here is that consistent unstoppable going throughout the entire match. Yeah, that's so true. Okay. Having his pause happen almost naturally, right? He's building up his um, yeah, whatever his charges called. I'm just gonna call them Absorbing Man charges. Building up his Absorbing Man charges, right? <laughs> yeah. Right now, he's winning the match. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm feeling a little silly with what I said as we watch this happen. He's staying in Uru, doing a great job of it. And this special one might do it. No. Jinxed it. That's okay. Because this heavy attack, yeah. yeah he's, I, I mean, it was still a minute and 15 seconds, so it wasn't the fastest Rintra takedown ever. And this special two might did not end it. I didn't see how many uh, ruptures are on. The number was blurry. Okay. If that special two ended it, a health difference may have really mattered there. But I think at this point, I think the Absorbent Man took it. Oh, yeah. I already put the point on the board. I will adjust it if it's not correct. But, yeah. Yeah, let's do MVP of the tournament. I like that idea. I'll, I'll create a poll here. I'm talking about the champions. Uh, so far, I've got Absorbing Man, Spider Ham. I think we should throw in Silk. I think she's influenced this enough. I can see it. Oh, we'll go ahead and watch this, and then we'll get back to that. Oh, here's the CGR. CGR. Yeah. This is this this is this was you know I think MCL is doing this just for you because you were saying you wanted to see it. This He's a good guy. Nice of him. He's a good guy. Yeah. Comes the medium light 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 medium into the special two. Got the Fate Seal going on. Now we're gonna see a big special two. Now, one combo here is going to be hitting pretty much that, that damage cap the entire time. To the striker, into a big, oop, heavy attack into special one. Is it going to end it? Is it going to get punished? He got punished. Okay. That punish is going to be, that, that, that's going to decide it right there, and Finn's going to take this one. What, what happened? So, he essentially did not die when he was supposed to. And that he 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 ended up getting punished because Ant Man was unstoppable. Wow. He went for the heavy attack, thinking that that would be it. He went for the special one, thinking it would be it. He took a risk, and the risk did not pay off that time. One thing to keep in mind is that a Sig two hundred Ant Man is going to make those incinerates on CGR special one essentially non-existent and only give Ant Man regen. Of course, we have, you know, Valkyrie played by Finn against Thing. If that special one did kill, MCL would have taken the match, but because CGR could be a much quicker nuke and a safe nuke, Valkyrie versus Thing, especially in the right hands, is a very, very powerful character. You know, I, uh, I got a little bit distracted. We're in the third, and it's tied up 1-1, correct? I th think so. So okay, we'll just have to watch this out. I, I had a I had something come up and I, I like I said I got a little distracted, so we'll just wait. 
Yes, we are in the third, and it is one one. Just look back on the stream. Okay, thanks. This is a very, very close one here. Comes a special two from Herc. It's not going to crit, but he will be stunned after. Ooh, one percent health on Warlock. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, Finn got this one. That was a great fight versus Warlock. Great fights on both sides, but again, as I was saying in the first set, you have two great players having two great fights, and one of the defenders have two health bars. It's going to add on a lot more time. So, champion uh, MVP of the tournament. I've got Absorbing Man, Spider-Ham, Silk, Future Ant-Man... Anyone else we want to put up there? Nick Fury? Yeah, I was thinking Nick Fury too. That would only let me put up four. I think Phil, Silk is too new to be the MV, MVP. She's really only influenced one match. Yeah. <laughs> but I really liked it. It's great, but just not the MVP. Yeah. All right, we're going to Absorbing Man, Spider-Ham, Future Ant-Man, and Nick Fury. <laughs> Enrique, the, the, the CGR gameplay, MCL versus Legacy, was, was not up to the caliber of both of those players. <laughs> yeah, and KT1 makes a good point about Valkyrie. Let's just have fun with the poll. <laughs> so we're heading into the fourth Finn is up to one both competitors holding serve Marcelo was able to break serve as they say hopefully people are familiar with the tennis saying in uh, the first round of matches now we're into the second You had a one or two. Very, we'll, we'll go for it. Was that? No, I was going to say, I see a lot of very tough defenders on Finn's draft. Yeah, that's what I was seeing too. Seven. Seven tough defenders. Well, I only see six. I don't know what his first pick was, but. Silk. Okay, so he has Silk as well. Yeah. He's, he's got his options. You're saying Domino versus Void and it's Torch versus Quirk. Again, we were talking about the energy attacks on Absorbing Man in Magma. Now, Torch is not covered in Magma. However, he's covered in Nova Flames. All of his attacks do energy damage. So, just like Absorbing Man, he's not going to be taking any Thorns damage from Quirk no matter what he does. Mediums, special one, special two, it does not matter. There was a pretty hefty mistake there. Yep. So MCL got clipped by the first part of Korg's special two, put two bleeds on him, and took off about half of his health. On the other side of the screen, we have Domino, about 90% of her health, Void down to about half health. The special two locked and loaded. Waiting for that intimidating presence debuff to pop up so we can remove it. Now going for the special two. We see a big crit and two bleeds. And that is probably going to do it. Once again, I was gonna say waiting for that uh for that debuff, but it looks like Finish is going to end it. Taking a bit more damage here, but that's okay. And Finn will take the round.
I wonder if fatigue is starting to set in a little bit. I mean, McLinks did say he was, MCL did say he was going to get coffee. And if I understood him correctly, the coffee was not available. I do feel like his play is, is dropped a little bit from what we saw in that first set of seven. Absolutely. Also, um, so there is a, a bit of a, a time difference between them, right? So MCL is in Brazil. Yes. So I believe it's around 4.30 there. And it's much later at night where Finn is. Yes. Now we're going to be seeing Silk versus Jessica. Warlock versus Rintra. So, the thing that makes Jessica so annoying is that she goes unstoppable after her special attacks. And Silk doesn't need to be higher than Sig 1 in order to keep a slow on her for the majority of the fight. As we know, it's around the, the unstoppable. We're going to see here a heavy into a striker, followed by a combo into a heavy into special two, regardless. Now, the weakness is going to take a bit of a factor here for the damage that we see, but Jessica is down below two bars of power and doesn't even have enough investigation to even go unstoppable yet, and she's almost dead with a full yellow health on Silk. Here, we're going to go for a heavy attack in the corner. I thought he was going to go for a special one, but it looks like he's going to build his way up to a special two once more just to be absolutely safe. He's going to bait out a special two from Jessica. He was going in for a stand-up intercept, which is totally safe to do when you have your Silk Sense active because you will evade any special attack automatically, and there's Jessica just gone. Almost basically a full yellow bar, and we have a great fight on the right. MCL as well with Warlock. However, you're just not going to out nuke Silk, especially when it's up against a rank 5 cow. I'm under no delusions that I would play Silk as well as Fintech is right now, but <laughs> <laughs> my grind for her is going very poorly. Uh, um, and that may be enough to get me to open up those Kindred uh, early access bundles they put up today. All right, we've got our first large lead here, and it's large yes. because they've just basically been trading sets. Fintech's now up 3-1. He wins this one, and he wins. That's very true. However, I think I remember it was MCL versus Legacy. I believe Legacy had a bit of a lead as well. Yeah. It was actually, I wouldn't count MCL out yet. Oh, absolutely not. And you're correct. It was the exact same scenario. It was the best of nine, though. Uh, but it, it was the same scenario where Mansell needed to win three in a row and and pulled it off. We don't see a silk ban. I was wondering if we would see a bit of a shakeup here now that MCL cannot lose one more match. I wonder if that's going to influence some of his defensive drafting decisions. Since we've now seen in the right hands just how effective silk can be. Yeah, I... You know, and I'm wondering why the Shuri ban. I, I definitely get the Hulk, like banning Silk instead of Hulk. Well, I, I know uh, MCL has personally said that he does not enjoy fighting Shuri. And I mean, who does? Who yeah. does? Okay. Uh, there it is. She is a very punishing defender. Also very potent on attack as well.
Wonder if we see this Danny chosen, that fury. He goes with Mojo. Mojo. Mojo is, of course, a fantastic dual-use champion who can throw on defense if he needs to, but also could be used offensively as well. Yeah, I feel like he was going for the flexibility there as opposed to the more pure defender or attacker options he had. Yep. Well, doesn't have an outstanding Mojo counter. He has a Starkey who could work well, Tigra who could work well. He doesn't have any science buff from the champions. There seems to be a good amount of indecision right now, too. Yeah, I don't even... That, uh, Atuma? Yeah. The yeah. V8, the last time MCL fought Atuma, it didn't go fantastic for him with Bishop. I don't think he wants to revisit that so soon. We have Gallon versus Jessica, which certainly can be done. It's not a matchup I enjoy playing. We're going for the special one spam here, but she went unstoppable at the worst time during that 17 second special one. We have Tiger going for a nuke here. Comes to special two, taking a lot of thorns damage though. It's a very large amount. Gallon is relatively healthy here. Here comes probably a special one. After he builds a few more harvest charges, she is unstoppable. Is it going to kill? It killed! Wow. Good fight. Fantastic fight. Remember earlier you were asking me, do, do I think that uh, Finn thought his Gallon was going to kill that Atuma? And I said, I don't think he did. Yeah. I think that this proves it, because he knows... How much damage he's going to do, he knows how much health the defender has. I think the uh, the halftime adjustment and just the halftime itself is really paying off. This this set feels very different than the last one. Absolutely. Finn is now one game away from securing his third straight championship. A Korg on D from Finn's side. At the cow. Oh, you know what? Bitter Steel is pointing out. I was wondering why uh, MCO was playing that fight he was. That's Atuma's reversing ability accuracy re <laughs> reductions, isn't it? Yeah. So the uh, so the unstoppable is poking through the, the yeah. neutralized one. Got it. So now we have Mojo versus Rintra, which I've actually seen Finn do. Works. He you, you got to build up prompts because you want that fury. You want to unleash a big special too. I think right now Finn is thinking that oh that's that was a nice special two Bishop but what Finn is probably thinking right now is that CL is going to finish this fight rather healthy last time he took it it wasn't super fast this time it is very fast Finn just got the perfect prompt use a special attack when he was going for the special two but it is a little bit too late at this point, Mojo is ramped, though. He can start doing some damage. He went for a special one. I think he thought he was at special two. Would not have mattered in the end. Once Mojo is all the way ramped up, that D-Gen starts to tick pretty nicely. I see a Scarlet Witch Relic on that Mojo. The Ghost Rider Relic definitely amplifies the D-Gen very nicely. Very well played by Finn, aside from that one special one instead of the special two. But it was also very, very, very well played by MCL and has some nice RNG with the special two as well. A much better matchup again. MCL side. 
Now we're going to have an interesting round three. Fury on D. Ant-Man on D. I was thinking about it. Do you want to place the cow? No, he's placing Ant-Man. We're going to see Starkey versus Ant-Man and Domino versus Fury. Now, Ant-Man has been a menace on defense, but we haven't seen ridiculous RNG out of Domino yet. Depending on what happens, it could go either way. It's been quite a while since we saw a crit bleed out of Domino. That was a big special, too. He's bleeding okay. Like MCL is ramping all the way up, going mostly for heavy attacks here, which is great. Here comes the special two, and that, yeah, that's probably gonna just about do it, unless he makes a mistake here with the special two bait. Oh my gosh, MCL's gotta be kicked up. Oh, okay, he finally got it. Ant-Man's heal was counteracting the shock, and then it stopped at 1%. <laughs> I feel like I've said this like eight times now, but we've had two near-perfect fights on both sides, except one defender had two health pools. Uh, it, there's a defender with two health pools in this game. Which one would that be? Uh, Mortal Hulk. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. Hence, big health pool. Big the, health pool. Yeah. You've got to wait out the unblockable. It's yeah, very annoying. It is. It makes a lot of sense, too, with the name Immortal. That it would. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, you know, I didn't want to interrupt that match because, you know, of the potential for it to be the end of it. And then MCL is, is keeping this going. Like we said, he was he needed to win three in a row against Legacy. He was able to pull it off. Is he about to do it again? It's definitely possible. I, and I did not count it out. But at the same time, I'm definitely not counting out Finn. Yes. Especially with an advantage right now of 3-2. But it is more likely than it was a few seconds ago. But the, uh, I want to get back to this question. Uh, Q is pointing out that it looked like Jessica's SP1 was canceled out. I didn't fully see it. Interesting. Was it from the striker? I don't I don't know. Ben just canceled Jessica's L1. I'm not saying that that didn't happen. I'm just saying I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. But it, so for those of you, if you've ever, if I know that could sound odd, commentating on this is not easy. Mike is doing a phenomenal job. MCL has gotten his absorbing man. I think he's probably got to like his draft right now, just seeing the champions he tends to pick. Then also, I getting champions he likes to pick. We're seeing the same ones uh, quite a bit here. There's that Valkyrie. We're seeing a Mephisto pop up, who is very annoying to fight. I don't see a great Mephisto counter. Finn side, and there's the Mephisto pick. Now, there's a thing popping up, and I don't see a great thing counter on MCL side. He does have Hercules and Absorbing Man, who could work. Both could work. He also has Domino, who could work. Nothing ideal. He's not going to choose thing, though. It looks like he's going with America Chavez. And there's Tiger and Scorpion, um, who do very well versus thing. So, in the end, may have been good. And he chooses Tigra. In Domino on defense, everybody's favorite defender. Not, we're having a Domino off. 
Having a Bishop versus Domino off, is that what we're gonna see here? Or is MCL gonna go with Absorbing Man, go into Magma? Yep, that's what he's doing. After seeing MCL play Absorbing Man by uh, against a few defenders, uh, very tricky defenders like, like Rintra, for example, this is a much more natural Absorbing Man fight. If you didn't know, critical fail damage that Domino has in her SIG ability is energy damage. So in magma form, Absorbing Man reduces the, uh, well, he, had, he gains plus 8,800 energy resistance. I believe at rank 5, it's actually plus 9,000. So you're going to be seeing much reduced energy damage from the crit fail. At the same time, Bishop also has about half as much energy resistance on top of some decent healing regeneration as well. You know, uh, I this, seen a, say that again. Go the, for it. This domino just wasted a ton of time throwing that special two, which is doubly negative for absorbing man with his desire to throw his own special two, right? Absolutely. Now, now the fight is, is really getting started for MCL because he finally got to refine that form. Yeah. He, he now lost. He's probably going to go medium light medium here to get some regen. Yep. Get the unstoppable pause. Nice. The striker going. This is very, very close. Push off with the special two. He failed the unblockable. Now, Finn, if Finn heals, if Finn heals a little bit, he could take it. Oh my goodness. If he, heal, if he healed he held block, he would I think he would have won that one. Well, it's about a 500 difference. Possibly if he healed all the way back up, which would have been a bit difficult to do. Man, that was a close one. Yeah. Well played on both sides. When we've Not talked about super duper ideal counters, but two counters that work well. And we've talked about RNG, you know, helping, hurting, hoping it comes up on both sides. It definitely did not go MCL's way there with the amount of time Domino took to throw that special two. I think that fight could have been a yeah. lot faster for him. I think he showed a lot of poise, not letting it shake him and finishing that off strong. Definitely. And we have a, have a cow. He, he, I've taken the cow with, with my rank two America Chavez and it works. Valkyrie also works. Thing is, Fintech has that Mephisto waiting. And that is, he, he is just a passive damage machine, especially with the new, you know, Mephisto was a very valuable defender, even in the previous scoring system. With the new one, 10, 15% damage loss, it's a big deal. These specials from uh, Future Game Man are just giving MCL fits. He, he's, he's doing a nice job, but... Look at this. Yeah, he, he, he just, he's having trouble with it today. Oh, it's... <laughs> there are some special attacks that just, they, they come out almost like it feels like in slow motion. Yes. And Ant-Man is one of those champions. You know, like Airwalker Special 1, Intra's Special 2. It feels like I can, like, cook an entire meal at a time when they throw it to when you dex it. Oh, absolutely. And, and to be clear, I'm not saying I could do it. I definitely couldn't. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's going to be in the difference in this match. Well, let's see. Here's a very important thing to watch here. Valkyrie has her special two. She has a full yellow bar. He's going for the heavy attack intimidate. He is done with the aggressive art, uh, the aggressive nature the, on, the, on the AI on Rintra there. Going for the, he, he ran in again, even though he's throwing the light attack still. He's going for the full combo. Is he going to take it? He took it there at the end. Oh my god. Fantastic Rintra fight there. I don't normally see Finn go for the heavy attack intimidate with Valkyrie. Rintra was just not playing ball with him that time. 
He just took matters into his own hands or took the bull by the horns. Uh, you get one more. You get one <laughs> more. But use it wisely. <laughs> wow. And now here we... I, I would be... I'm, I'm willing to bet right now MCL takes this round. I don't think that's too crazy of, of, of our prediction. We have Tigra versus Gallon. The pressure on this, though. I mean, a game where you play just with your fingers. Like, the absolute pressure to get these precise movements. And multiple of them. Look at this. That's it. He did it. Went on to game seven. Whoa, let's do this, Michael. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's go, folks. Let's go. Oh, it's a shame this one's it's a shame one of them isn't going to walk away with the championship the play of both of them fantastic fight almost perfect fight on both sides but you know again gallon only has one hp bar and that was the difference here you know tiger is a bit of a nuke as well but that was also a difference was a great, fantastic Hercules versus Fury fight. Exactly how you want to do it. Just got those two health pools. Unbelievable. You got that right, Saints. Thank you for the donation and proving of the puns, Martin. It all comes down to this, Michael. How lucky to have a game seven, the final match of the tournament. Yeah, Bitter Steel's correct. We didn't go a full 14, but going 13 is pretty darn good. And the drama of this, the this, this second one, the second match going, the distance. Ends are staying the same. Yeah. I'm going to keep my eyes out for Silk. I'm keeping my eyes out for Absorbing Man. There's the Absorbing Man. I would love for both of these players to get their wanted champs here. Absolutely. I want to see Silk. I want to see Absorbing Man. I want to see Valkyrie on both sides. You know what? Screw the seven champ draft. Both players get 30. The full thing. No, it's definitely, trust me, on, on this side of it, the, uh, the see, like, right here, I don't think this is who he wanted at all. And that's the game. That's the game we play. We accept it. But, you know, on the hosting, the announcing side, you want them to get, you want everything to go their way. Yes, of course. You know, Mega Red Pick, very interesting. Um, obviously, that would be for um, Tuma, who is fantastic for Tuma. I didn't love... And, you know, I'm Omega Red is my guy all day, every day. I didn't love him for the Unstoppable meta. It just messes with the aggressiveness there. Um, but, oh, my God, for the Gladiator circuit, holy crap, he was ridiculous. But, yeah, for, for this exact, the Victory Track meta, not my favorite champion for it. Yeah, that's not who he was hoping for. I don't, this is not, I don't believe this is the draft Mickling's or MCL wants. Yeah. Definitely giving the draft advantage mostly to Finn here. There's a big Sasquatch MCL side. Finn gets one more champ if Silk pops up. Tigra pops up. It's Tigra at least. King pops up. And also Ant-Man pops up, who has been a bit of a menace. a cow on D. 
probably gonna have to do absorbing man versus the cow probably gonna have to do a mega versus jessica but then uh, you thought that the omega was for a tuma just... oh there's no way he wanted to do that that is unfortunate. There is no way he wanted to do that. Unless it's just Finn, a pure throw. Finn doesn't have a good Sasquatch counter. That right there, that was a last a last second pressure pick, pressure swap. Yeah. And that right there, that may have cost the round. We'll see. Yeah, Anything could happen here. I think it happened, and Absorbing Man could eat a special two. Get one shot by a crit. Anything can happen. You know, one Spotty thing. Watch. Sasquatch with one SB2 could end it. He could. Not, not likely. likely. Not likely at all because he's going to have four weakness debuffs when he goes for that special two, and he's not going to be in Wrath. So actually, I'm going to go with Impossible. Impossible, yeah, as you thought that through a bit more. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, I mean, I, I again, this is not the fight that MCL wanted to have here. And... Yeah. He'll be in wrath when he comes out of this, but I, I, I think it's just going to all be too little. She'll also be unstoppable. Yeah. And very notably, Finn's taking this slow. He's playing it safe. He recognizes that MCL did not want that task watch for Jessica. And he knows for a fact that she's not dying. This was a beautiful fight on the left. And absolutely, I can see the chat. And if, you know, at the moment, honestly, just as the host, I would prefer they both get everyone they wanted. So I, I completely understand the disappointment right here for MCL, especially if you were cheering for him. I completely get it. I think it's warranted and it's understandable. Also, I think what folks like Bitter and Rye are saying is like, this is just the game we play. There's RNG involved. And Finn still has to play the matches. He still has to do the draft. This is not to take away anything from FinTech. He got himself here and he's doing a phenomenal job with it. We have a thing on defense. Probably going to see a scorpion on attack. This, this is tough. This is a really tough draft for MCL right now. Because if he, man, if he uses scorpion for, for thing, then there'll be a cow. If he uses omega for thing, then there'll be an atuma. If he uses Hercules for thing, good freaking luck. Yeah, this feels like when you're playing chess and you can tell that your opponent's about two moves from having you in checkmate and there's really not much you can do about it. This is interesting. I'm seeing Lady Deathstrike against Korg. I... He does have a really nice light reach, so maybe we're going to see the step backs. But... I mean, let's see. I've never seen this before. The thing is, she has a, a debuff on every hit. So the rocks, or just freaking standing here, by the way, but the rocks are not going to go away super easy. Gone now. Now we can heal block. I think that strike is, is, is fantastic, by the way. She's a fantastic champion. But I'm going to give the advantage to Scorpion here if, if the fight goes clean. So I wonder if... It, it seems to me like Finn was baiting out that Scorpion... We could say GG's and place Renter on D. See what happens. Wow. 
I, I just think that Finn would have had a shot in this round if he if he chose Gallon. Yeah, it, it seems like he was going that, for... That, that, that's the thing that, you know, it's just that it seems like he's putting his eggs in the basket for round three, but I just think that he had a shot for this round. Agreed. That's why I'm surprised. Yeah, I agree, and I agree it was a strategic move. Uh, the thing is, Gallon could take pretty much every defender that MCL has. Not, not pretty much. He can take every defender that MCL has. And the only option for Rintra is going to be Omega Red, who is a fantastic option, and the champion doesn't go unstoppable every seven seconds. Still possible, just a bit more complicated. No, let's see what he does. Oh, now <laughs> interesting. MCL is trying to bait out the Rintra on attack. That is fun. And look at that. He's he's going to do it. He's going to place a Tuma. Here we go. Oh, I do not know about this. Let's see. There's oh at least a little God. excitement here. Here we go. This is, yeah, let, let's end it with, uh, Let's make it interesting, man. Rintra have a huge special two crit. Omega get some nice AI from Atuma. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it's just Rintra counters the node. Oh, there it is. It does. There it does. There oh, it is. You're about okay. to see it. Yeah. Here comes the big special two. It might not be a big special. It might be a medium sized special two, but it's going to be a special two. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, so, I mean, seventy k non crit, not bad. No. but it, it did not crit. You know, we we want we want the big yellow number. And at this point, anything can happen. I wouldn't have rooted there. Okay, okay, but he threw the special two. Yeah, this is um. Here comes the striker into a special two. Even a non crit is going to finish this off. That's it. Finn wins. Three in a row. That's a, that's a turkey, dude. Turkey, dynasty, whatever you want to call it. I think that's a little bit of both. Yeah. A dynamic turkey. About <laughs> Dynastic. How about this. You, you do the puns, and I'll commentate the fights. I think that works. We got a good system going on here. Let's not break it. We gotta stay in our wheelhouses. Uh, I mean, without the mistake, do you think that fight looks different? Without, with, if 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 MCL doesn't take that uh, that hit, you think that fight turns out a different result? Possibly. I I think that Rentra still takes advantage there. I think overall. Yeah. Because he finished at about one hundred percent health. He finished faster. Oh. I mean, these guys put on a heck of a show. Even this last Fantastic. seventh set Perfect. where we all were like, oh, this doesn't look good. They still ended up taking it to the final one. And it, there was a, even a little bit of sports drama at the end. Uh, Wonder Pants makes a good point. Yeah, MCL did win the overall score. Well, congrats. I mean, congratulations to them both. Thank you to them both for putting this on. Just an amazing display of skill. Um, I think fortitude. I mean, I, for me, playing that long, I would be exhausted. And they both look pretty darn sharp at the end here still. Hats off to both of them. You got that right, Eric. Uh, Mike, if you have more time, you can join the uh, the other chat that they'll be able to join. See if either of them wants to join the call. Mike, we all agree you're a phenomenal commentator. So, and thank you for joining. I think you just added to the excitement of all of this. So, thank you very much for doing that.
Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Absolutely. MCL, absolutely. Feel free to join call. I, I I don't have a ton of time, but I'd love to be able to talk to you and Finn and let you both kind of just... This is a lot. This was four tournaments. This was a whole season in the making. Hello? MCL, my friend, how are you? How are you doing, Vega? Oh, I... I, I... A little bit sad because I lost, uh, but I am really happy to, uh, with, with all that happened on this turning. Like, uh, first ma match I could have the one, um, and then we go to 3-3, three, three, so really hard. On this last match, bro, it's impossible for me to win. If you look at my picks, it's a, a ma uh, like I need a miracle and maybe internet disconnection from fintech. Because <laughs> there is no way, no way, no way. When I saw my draft, I know it's over because... Uh, and I, even if I throw on one, one hound, I don't have uh, attackers or defense didn't appear anything good to answer the, the uh, his de uh, his D. Uh, his picker wasn't so good on this last one too. We are both like without good, good, good uh, picks, but it happens. Uh, it's part of the game. And then uh, I am just happy to be here to to play this way. And almost, oh, Finn, oh, it's a pleasure for me to me uh, play against you. Thank you, Finn. Thank you, Vega, for the opportunity. And I hope the the guys on chat enjoyed the the, the match. Uh, really, really nice to to play. I, I, I MCL, you were phenomenal. Uh, to, to even to take this to a full second set there and then make it go all the way to the last and final one. Phenomenal. I hope you're very, very proud of yourself and everything you brought to it. I know I'm grateful for the show you put on. Uh, Finn has also joined. Finn, congratulations on winning a third straight championship. Uh, if you don't mind, just let us know how you're feeling and, and what's going on for you right now. Yeah, that, that was by far the closest one so far. I, I'm still <laughs> kind of shaking, and I think Marcelo here is the only one who has ever made me swear on stream. <laughs> so, uh, I usually try to keep it family friendly and stuff like that, but um, some of those fights, I just completely messed some of them up, and then my RNG on those domino fights and, and bishop fights, it was just awful. I, I let a few sleep there. <laughs> so. It happens. It happens to everybody, my yeah. friend. But yeah, Marcelo, you are a beast. I did not think you would actually do some of the fight as well as you did. You surprised me on a few of those. And just being able to take it to the very, very last game there. It was very exciting for me as well, to say the least. I I was basically already feeling very defeated when we went to the second game. Because I <laughs> the first one, I you should see some of my fights. Kate Bishop, I missed the perfect releases. I was missing parries. I dropped my special into his block. I forgot the pre-fight. It just... It was a disaster. <laughs> oh, Finn, it's, uh, it's so good for me to, to hear that. It's not the first final we face it, and I hope <laughs> we face again, again, again. And uh, if you can please let me win like one, you can, you can win like three, and I won one, three, one, it's fine for me, just one, it's fine for me, but Finn, what a good match, uh, I always enjoy to play against you, and I am happy, I, uh, to be honest, I, I think I would be sad if I lost uh, on the first best of of seven, but uh, I, I just can expre express I, I, I am happy with the result, a little bit sad to lost, but feeling like happy, feeling good to, to play this way, so really thank you uh, for the match, Finn, and about shaking and something like that, <laughs> I'm always shaking against you, some guys on the chat uh, uh, said you are my father on, on Battlegrounds, Nah, so I I will have to to talk talk if the chat after this match and everyone is saying Finn you are dead Finn you are dead. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> thank you Finn. Thank you really much for the for the match and thank you Vega for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.
Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we started off with just, it was just going to be like me and my friends doing some tournaments. <laughs> and we've ended this with um, Karate Mike co-hosting a championship with two of the best players in the whole world. Uh, so I am actually grateful to all of you for all of my friends, for everyone who's competed in this tournament, for everyone in the chat. You guys have put on a phenomenal, phenomenal show that goes well beyond anything that I imagined when we first started off with this. So uh, I, I hope you all are proud of yourselves. I'm proud of what we did. And uh, I like I said, I hope you guys are proud and I hope you're ready to come back for season two. Finn, go out there and enjoy this. You're third in a row. I will connect with both of you guys uh, over DM because you both have, have won some extra things and we'll get that to you. Oh, there was one question from Bitter Steel. I apologize. I was about ready to sign off. There was one question. Uh, uh, this is a question for FinTech. Bitter was wondering, uh, there was a fight where you had Absorbing Man versus a Korg and it looked like maybe mm, the, the wrong yes. pre-fight got selected and then you tried to switch. If, if you don't mind kind of talking us through a little bit of what happened there. Yeah, like I was saying, some of these fights were complete disasters. I just, I don't know what it was. Uh, my head wasn't in the game. So for that one, I went to select the pre-fight. And for whatever reason, I chose the top one, which is the Uru form. Yeah. Which is not what you want against Korg. I tried to put the Magma form after that, hoping that it would override it. But it turns out it doesn't. So Now, Finn, uh, bouncing off of that, I did notice that when you were in the fight, you made your way just under special two, and it seemed like you were taking a moment to consider, do I want to swap it up and go for magma, or do I want to use my fintech skills and play this fight in Uru? And it, it obviously, you, you went with the second option. That was, uh, wh why, why did that happen? Yeah, I did actually say that in the fight, that now that I have the Uru pre-fight, might as well just go with it, because it does mm -hmm. work. There are Definitely. pros and cons to using both. And the biggest pro that you have when using the Uru form is that you can actually afford to block hits because Absolutely. of physical resistance. So you kind of make up the speed with your health as long as you play it well. And mm -hmm. me getting pushed my special three there was not me playing well. So right, right, right. Yeah. It, it, but it does work out. But yeah, cool. Yep. Awesome. And one, one question for MCL. That uh, Sasquatch versus Jessica fight. I, I noticed that you were bouncing back and forth between attackers there. Uh, to, to me, it seems like you really did not want to fight that Jessica with Sasquatch. What was going on there? Oh, I, I, I don't have any good opinion, to be honest, honest Karate Mike, because under the bleed meta, you can do if you Omega Red really fast, like 40 seconds, uh, 50 seconds ma max. But on this meta, Omega do doesn't do so so good here, and I, I want to yeah. save Omega for the last round. And then when I saw that uh, Finn picked uh, Absorbing Man, I was okay. At least one list, uh, uh, one list champion to deal. So I would just throw. Uh, I don't know why I I I. Uh, uh, choice uh, Sasquatch. I think any of my my guys couldn't take her. Maybe Hercules, but I want to save Hercules for the last round. So I was like, okay, I, I don't think uh, Sasquatch uh, could be so difficult for him. So I will waste him to to just uh, play the the other match, the other round. Sorry. Absolutely. And now, did you did you place Hercules on defense specifically to bait out Finn's Rintra for attack, so that you didn't have to fight Rintra? Because that's what I that's what I thought that was the a last, very smart play. On the last round? Yes, on the last round. No way. I I, I was hoping. I was uh, talking to the chat like, please fintech, please Hintra, 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 <laughs> because this fight with Omega Red is yeah. safe. Uh, I will not uh, lost uh, life. I can do in a good time, and it's same percent safe, one hundred percent safe. I do know against a tomb, I will get some damage. Uh, like I said, on the, the bleed meta, Omega works uh, on Atuma like a beast. But oh on God, this yeah. meta, he takes a time. So I was, please, I Finn, agree. use Gala and place uh, Hintra because it's more easier <laughs> to, to, to do if uh, Omega and more safe to, to finish full health too. Uh, against Atuma was impossible. 
So I just hope he use Galan against uh, Hercules and let him try for defense, but it didn't happen. I, Unfortunately, I, I, well, you I, both played absolutely incredible, regardless. Absolutely, a fantastic job to both. Huge agree with Mike. And then I have one last question. Uh, you guys can kind of just quickly answer. Uh, we'll start off with uh, McLinks. At any point, did you consider banning? Uh, no, Vega, to be honest, no. Uh, last, last season, my, my deck uh, was fully focused on Mystics, but on this season, not. I can play without the Mystics. Uh, I do know he, she is good, but I, I don't have idea how many fast she will do. So after he did that fight with his Sasquatch, uh, we, in 40 seconds, I was okay. So I can't, I can really place Mystics against her. So Shuri would give me a, a probably on a probably a problem on defense because I was uh, waiting for fintech to ban Hulkling and to place uh, Antman and then I was okay he ranked the uh, Shuri to to seven star rank two so I will have a lot of trouble uh, lost life and uh, takes a long time even if I do like with uh, absorbing man or some guys like that that can do her uh, I will take a long time and this uh, probably will cost the round so I I was just fine to let uh, silky silky free but I didn't know she can work against Jessica Jones Surpr that that fight surprised me he won a round using Silk against Jessica Jones, and I was, oops, so she works here too. Yeah, she's she's quite good. That that slow debuff is very powerful. Yep. And, and that's what I wanted to ask Ben, was, were you surprised by Silk? Were you like, no, this is exactly what I thought? If you, could, if you don't mind talking through Silk a little bit there. Uh, no, I was not surprised at all. Actually, that Jessica Jones fight specifically was a lot slower than it normally is because I didn't line up the special two right. But I did some practice fights after I did the arena grind with uh, to get Silk to her straight rank five, and then I was doing some friendlies with a few people, including and Andrew the Rough, and a few others. So testing out those matchups: all the Mystics, Dragon Man, Mango, Rintra. And she does them all in around 40 to 50 seconds, so... All right. She also does work for non-mystic champions. I've taken Galans and Scorpions and stuff like that in less than 30 seconds with her before. Finn, so I'm very happy I actually got to use her. Then I'm trying to grind out Silk as we speak. I'd prefer if you said she was terrible and people should not try to get her. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, guys, again, I hope you can tell how grateful I am for the performance you all have put on over the course of a year of tournaments. Uh, and today in particular, thank you to MCL Fintech. Please make sure you go support both of them. The links to their channels are in the description. Massive thank you to Karate Mike for coming on and providing some amazing commentary. And thank you to the donations for uh, from M7 and Martin T and everyone in the chat for making this so much fun to put on. Let's go ahead and, and sign ourselves out. We'll start off with Karate Mike, then MCL. And our three time champion, three in a row, Fintech. Oh god, man. What a match. What what a what a fantastic set of matches. Two matches from both Fintech and MCL. Absolutely incredible. I said it like five times during the stream, but if you aren't subscribed or following these guys, the links are in the description. Go check them out and give their, their pages a follow because they are both incredible members of the community and they're fantastic guys, and even more so, they are incredible players there's a very strong reason why these two guys have been at the top of the tournaments for the past few seasons in a row now just absolutely incredible you don't want to miss their content and yeah man just fantastic job to both of them thank you so much vega for having me on the stream it was a blast always a joy commentating with you and yeah let's move on to mcl Oh, uh, I want to thank you, Vega, for the opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of guys on Brazil that are watching, even your channel, in my channel, or FinTech channel. Uh, they do admire a lot FinTech, to be honest. Uh, they, they do admire a lot because of Battlegrounds, too. Uh, so I just want to thank you guys for the opportunity. I hope the chat enjoyed the show. Uh, I think we did some good fights and some bad fights, too. <laughs> 
but uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here and I am really happy with the result and remember fintech I will beat you remember <laughs> thank you guy thank you guy have a nice day well Marcel I'm certainly looking forward to our next matchups and thank you for this amazing amazing match today as well it was it was one of the best ones I've had as for Vega, once again, thank you for hosting a wonderful tournament. I am happy to have been part of it, and I am hoping that I can continue to be part of them. And I'm very much looking forward to the next one. Have a great one out there, everybody. We'll see you all in Season 2. And again, three-time champion, FinTech. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.